Okay. Ati kushora. So, saka. Ki vana kakansa. Hii <coughs> itoro method ya kia haru kuita bati. O pande mwe muna haruku shamba isha wa dawashita nzi. Masimpa kwenzi. Ye muri, muri madanda ya timuno taura. Saka hipa pamsoni kwa hivyo. Wanu regeza wataura. So wano da. Dando demokrasi yo regeza wano waite. Speak out. So wano da notu kuti. Uungo ta wati zunziri korekti yoji. Sa wati ziri wrong. Ne. No. Sorry. Zanyi mkuma mkuma mkuma. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think I'm coming up with them as well. So I'm coming to argue with Ava. Argue with Ava. I argue to I'm coming with Ivan, Pastor Ivan. Say we're going to see a man named Church. We're going to see him. They're going to see him. Pan and Moshe. They're going to argue. We're going to diaspora. We're going to protest. Mugabe. Yeah, I think. Eh, Chinyanga. I think you are entitled to your own opinion. Um, I, I. I don't hear the same school of thought with with you. Uh, I'll give my reasons for that. Um, of course, yes. I mean, I know there have been debates as to uh, whether Pastor Ivan Mawari is an accomplice of Zanu PF. I, of course, I cannot uh, absolve him because. Politics, Zimbabwe and politics, to understand it, you have to be in it. It's a very brutal uh, sort of a jungle of politics. And you, you cannot equate it to any other politics in Africa because it is indeed a cocktail for disaster. If you look at uh, people like Robert Mugabe and Zanu PF, uh, their behavior and their attitude is, 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 is no resemblance of Zimbabwean culture at all. Uh, basically, if you look at it, 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 it there are traces of, uh, of communism, where they were trained in China. There are traces from a socialistic perspective, where they were trained in Russia, uh, Yugoslavia, and all that, it, 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 including North Korea. And, and the West still, we've got a big problem whereby uh, in 1980, the transition from a bush to an office was not well handled. There was no proper training, mm. you know, an induction process yeah. to prepare these people to, to truly, truly uh, get into an office and turn the country into a democratic dispensation. I know Mugabe himself acknowledges his own shortcomings. And sometimes I reflect to say maybe Britain itself is to blame. Because when Lord Soames was actually the governor for Zimbabwe, for the transition, uh, when Robert Mugabe uh, won the elections in 1980, April, uh, he asked the British government to extend uh, their sort of uh, training, induction, and rule. He wanted the British to extend the rule by two years. And he acknowledged, and the reason why he said that was that to say, we we are just coming from the from the bush. We have no experience in terms of management, in terms of leadership, which I think was very frank. But the British refused. They said we are we have, we are on 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 path to decolonize Africa and all other states. You won the elections. You rule. You've been fighting for majority rule. And they told. Then continue. You know. Of course, they they then he extended it by one month, which of course still one month for people who who were bloody bath, some of them with the names that that have got a bloody connotation. But anyway, look at it. This is why I'm saying it's the behavior of Zanu PF both as a, as, as a party and as a government, is, it is not, nowhere near the culture of Zimbabweans. So this is why I said to understand the politics of Zimbabwe, you have to be in it. Uh, I happen to have been in, in that jungle of politics at a very young age, and I grew up in it. I was, I was arrested several times. But it, again, what I realized in politics is if you are vindicated, incarcerated, you you tend to to, 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 
to repel, you know, that, 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 that uh, political dynamism or oppression. This is why I find in any struggle, once you start the struggle, it's unlikely that you stop the struggle until you win the struggle or you lose the struggle. And uh, looking at uh, Pastor Ivan... Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> looking at Pastor Ivan, of course, look, he, I, I'm sure he should have made his own judgment. And uh, probably there's, not, there's much that we don't know behind the scenes. He could be a very gullible person. It is possible. In the sense that the very people who jumped in the bandwagon to invite him to say, come, let's sort out this, let's do this, could be actually the very people, you know, <laughs> the CIA behind the scenes. Mm. Yes. Themselves. Because they are capable of doing that. And they, they, they've looted, they've got the money to hire people, they've got the money to perpetuate propaganda. And anything, anything devilish, they can put, they, they, they will at least be able to put any figure on it, and they will do it. Mm, some people were saying maybe um, they know that after six months he's got some money or he's made some contacts out there that will be willing to pay any bail. So there's, yeah. there's an economic okay. interest there in, in the subject. But look, I think we, we, we are speculating. I mean, sometimes it's, it's also good to speculate because and uh, it's, it's part of politics. Uh, speculations, spinning, propaganda. Even recently you saw the CIOs uh, peddling lies that Shimogen Changra is dead. Mm. Okay. And uh, if you don't understand the political dynamics, and then and he, tried to, he tried to kill Joshua Mko. <laughs> in Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe, you probably, you know, you just laugh at it, and you then you don't go, you don't drill the deeper into what exactly were they trying to do. But the fact of the matter is, they've always put Mogul Tsangrai on the radar, and all of a sudden they lost, they lost him. They were not aware where he was. Hmm. So the first thing that you do, if you've lost somebody in the, on, on the radar, is to lie that he's dead so that you can... So, that, you people, so that you say, I'm here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so, this, this, yeah, this is the politics of Zimbabwe. Yeah. Right? Okay. Even, people like... Uh, uh, I sympathize with uh, our brothers and sisters in the civic organizations. Because maybe their, their level of understanding of politics might not be so complicated as it should be from a Zimbabwean perspective. And it becomes very easy to be gullible. It becomes very easy to be muscled and to be used. But I think it was there. I, I believe that, look, even Gandhi, one said, uh, you cannot sustain an oppressive regime longer than necessary without being an accomplice. Mm -hmm. So we Zimbabweans, we are also our own enemies by prolonging such a, uh, an oppressive regime like Robert Mugabe and Zanu PF. And uh, if we truly the pastor uh, did so uh, at a point of strength, and commitment, I think we need to support him. And people, we have to fight this regime at all costs. And the best way to fight a regime like ZANPF and Robert Mgad is actually to defy, to defy any unjust rule or laws. Uh, so many people have accepted using the, you know, undermining the uh, the office of the president, okay? And uh, people have been arrested, people have complied, people as we speak, they are, they, they, they actually 
uh, being incarcerated at the jail. Some of them. Here we are. We are talking about uh, Pastor Mawarin. Because in a way, we believe that he uh, is a prominent person. There are some people who have done more than what the pastor has done. Mm. And as we speak, people have forgotten about them. Once those iron gates were slammed, we forgot about them. We mustn't do that. And that is a weakness for us as Babylonians. We must make necessary noise for everybody. Everybody who is arrested in pursuit of justice and sitting in the PF. Uh, I mean, we must all support those people. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure you are referring to Pastor Mgadza, he's one of them. And then yes, we've Pastor got the MDCT activists yeah. who were um, given 20 years. Yeah. And but it's also, it is also very important to note that uh, uh, we must be also proceed with caution as we support people uh, who are loudest in the struggle. Because there are some people who will be used by ZANPF. And some yes. of them is the, is the same co is the same side of the coin with the ZANPF. Yeah. In, which case, in which case, you know, sometimes uh, even I'm always, you know, if, even if I go to Zimbabwe, uh, if I'm to sleep, I have to sleep with one eye open. Mm. Yeah. Of course. And, and, and extreme with all eyes of, open. Of course. <laughs> yeah. That's the nature of politics in Zimbabwe. And if you, if, if you join the politics of Zimbabwe, 